Hello and welcome to Sunday Special on NTA Calibre. It's Modern Sunday and it's a celebration of women all the way. So as we hope you've given a special treat to a woman who could be your friend, sister or mother, Sunday Special also inspired inclusion for women as we gathered for you advocacies made to mark International Women's Day celebration. So there is a lot more in today's edition. We enjoyed you to stay tuned and enjoy every bit of the moment. I am Maureen Leo Ajom. Welcome back to Sunday Special. Creating an inclusive society where women are recognized, valued, and empowered will allow them to function at their best. It is against this background that women from the 18 local government areas of Cross River State converge at the Presbyterian Church of Nigeria, Hope Wardell Parish, to thank God for his benevolence towards women in spite of challenges as the mark this year's International Women's Day in the state. Stakeholders at the service promise to look into issues affecting women as they hope to finding solutions to them, especially to promote gender parity. Erika E.V. was at the service and tells us more. <laughs> It was a joyful atmosphere as a commissioner for women affair, Edima Irom, who represented the wife of the state governor, Yawanu Tu, led women to the altar for thanksgiving to God as the women round up activities marking the International Women's Day. We were like, let's thank God for our lives. We started this activity with media interactions, with meetings with refugees, the orphans and vulnerable distribution of items by her Excellency, the First Lady, interactive sessions, so many engagements to prisons and all of that. The officiating minister, Reverend Gloria Mbe, speaking on the topic, the winning woman advised women to remain committed in helping their songs and drama presentations spice up the service, as well as gift presentation to outstanding women who have contributed immensely to the development of the society. Stakeholders at the occasion believe if women are treated better, the society will experience peace and progress. We should carry all the women, the widows, the market women, no matter how the woman you are, we should carry everybody along. In the Christian manner, you visit those people, are they sick? Has it taken a long time you have not seen them? What are their problems? You share in their problems. What we are seeing today is only a, a, a time. It will soon pass away. We will get to a better Nigeria. We will get to a better time. Over the week, palliatives were presented by the wife of the state governor, Reverend Eyawanu Tu, to 10,000 women across the 18 local government areas of the state. The theme for this year is Inspire Inclusion. In Calabar, Erika Ivi, NTA News. A woman is a multi-purpose species fulfilling the task of multiplying humanity. Hence, investing in a woman is never a waste of time, but could enhance opportunities for the development of the society. Erika Evie reports that as women celebrate Mother's Day for the year 2024, Creating space and opportunity for every woman is said to promote societal development. <laughs> Most people the world over have peculiar way of celebrating mothers while highlighting the influence, sacrifices and achievements made by women. No matter where you are, who you are, we are all one and they should continue to uh, be hardworking women that they are. Some observers are urging the government and private organizations to be proactive in addressing women related issues such as domestic violence, underage marriage, 
on equal access to education and more. We should carry every woman along everything we are doing. We all came from women. and Without women, there won't be any society. So it is only good that we do it. Rendition of songs and other activities made a fulfilled day for the mothers with the church on them to be responsive and purposeful in life. In Calabar, Erika Ivi, NTA News. And a foot Abua West, a community in Calabar South local government area of Cross River State, is grateful to God for averting what would have been termed a Black Saturday in the area. A viral video on social media shows two traders struggling for their lives to get away from the area which was affected by electric current from high tension lines. Our correspondent, Achibong Basi, who followed up the incident, reports that the traders escaped there by a whisker after the power surge occurred from an electric pole close to their shops and are now recuperating at the hospital. Viewer's discretion is please advise. An eyewitness account at the scene of the incident has it that at about 6 o'clock in the evening of Saturday, March 2nd, 2024, when the power distribution company restored power to the area, there was a spark from the high-tension cables, which caused the wires to snap and fall on the roof of a vehicle's spare parts shops and some parked cars. When this thing actually happened, a lot of passers-by came to help. And it's so unfortunate, one of them is not even in this compound. He's not a resident of this place. But, but as a good Samaritan, he was actually electrocuted by the wire. The community was uh, traumatized. And uh, most of us, we thought that that would be the end. But as God may have it, V3, we let call the V3 at the end. Actually, what we witnessed was uh, the close bar was made of wood. It's sympathetic that um, such happened at this hard time. But I thank God that no life was lost. I want to thank all the people around here for making sure that we don't lose anybody in our midst. Inspecting the scene of the incident, the federal government, through the Nigerian Electricity Management Services Agency, led by the managing director, and Chief Electrical Inspector of the Federation, Mr. Ali Yutuko, says after the emergence of the viral video on social media, the team came to sympathize with the community and to also determine the root cause of the incident and profile recommendations to forestall any future occurrence. Building structures under power lines because it's highly risky. Electricity has is associated with hazards and these hazards are real. They can even affect the very professional that are working in the electricity sector. So we need to use electricity safely, we need to use it wisely. Networks in Calabasa is one of the older networks, uh, it's edge, there's urgent need for rehabilitation. And this is going to be one of our directives to the city companies to ensure that these networks are habilitated. In the defense of the Portacot Electricity Distribution Company, the regional manager attributes the fault to a line where wires marry. So when that tree touched the line, the wire married. And because of the fault, the cross arm broke and the wire snapped and fell on the ground. If you check where we are, we are under high tension. Look at the houses, under high tension. We have been advocating for customers. Stop living under high tension because a fault may occur. A visit to the General Hospital where the survivors are receiving treatment shows they are in a stable condition. The incident was quite uh, serious. One of them was even unconscious when he arrived at the hospital. Uh, following treatment, he regained consciousness and they are fully uh, getting better uh, by the day. They are improving. We visited the survivors at the hospitals who have seen that they are uh, responding to, to treatment. And it's, it's unfortunate because um, 
the accident could have been prevented. So the utility companies have on up. They are now taking up the bills of the, the victims. It would be recalled that in 2017, seven people had died while 11 sustained various degrees of injuries when a power line fell on a football viewing centre where about 30 fans gathered to watch football on satellite television. In Calabar, Achibombasi, NTA News. And that's it on Sunday Special. Thank you so very much for watching.